My name is Dr. Scott Hoyer, and I want to talk about simplifying the discussion of sinus lip bone grafting with patients. Um, sinus lip bone grafting, when not handled appropriately with patients, um, can oftentimes cause fear because patients feel that they're being offered something that is unnatural, and they're worried about what will happen to their sinus. Using just a few simple analogies can demystify this discussion with patients. Um, as with any bone deficiency, patients respond really well to um, the discussion of restoring their bone. And so the discussion of sinus lip bone grafting starts with um, helping them to understand why they have a bone deficiency and how you're going to restore it. Um, I discuss with every patient um, their sinus lip bone grafting needs in terms of um, the bone deficiency they have either um, because their sinus is enlarged throughout the course of life, letting them know they started off as the size of a pea and slowly enlarged uh, to adulthood, um, in some cases enlarging too much. Um, and in other cases, um, after a tooth extraction, letting them know that those roots were acting like tent poles. And when the tooth was removed, the tent poles were removed and the sinus collapsed. Um, and the sinus of bone graft is simply restoring the bone back to the state it was uh, before the sinus either enlarged or before the tent poles were removed, making it a simple way to communicate to patients why their sinus is the way it is and that you're simply restoring it back to the way that it was.